What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the Mo Creatures mod, and what this mod does is it adds a bunch of new mobs to Minecraft, such as lions, bears, cats, fish, crocodiles, turtles, manta rays, stingrays, dolphins, sharks, um, and a whole bunch more of mobs. The list of mobs that it adds is huge. And there's no way I can remember them all by memory. So let me go ahead and hop in my world. And you can see we have some goats over here. Let me go ahead and turn on creative mode so I can fly around. So we have a baby goat over here and then just a full grown goat. And if you get a couple goats together, they'll start fighting and butting heads and everything. <laughs> Down here we have got a crocodile as well as some fish as you can see all the little fish swimming around that is just a squid right there um, over here we have a manta ray uh, here's a dolphin and I thought there was some stingray over here don't know what happened to the stingray so that is the manta ray and let me go ahead and show you a cool feature of the crocodile so if I go ahead and spawn a pig see if it will go after the pig if I fly out of its range come on go after the pig hmm I don't think it's gonna go after the pig I'll go ahead and let you see what it looks like when it attacks me There you go, when it actually bites you, it starts thrashing around. They're very hard to get away from. Finally got away from it. So that's what it looks like when they attack. So now let me go ahead and see if I can't find any other mobs. I'm sorry if that was a bit loud. I don't have my volume adjusted very well. Here we have a fox. Makes a very annoying and obnoxious noise. And let's see if we can find at least one more mob. Come on. Oh, here's some birds. Quite a few birds, actually. So yeah, I don't want to take too long on showing you the mob. There's another um, fox over there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the preview here. So I now need to clean out my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I'll show you how to install it. Okay, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. All these archiving programs do work the same, so you can use whatever you prefer. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then you're going to need to download Audio Mod, Mod Loader, GUI API, Custom Mob Spawner, and the Mo Creatures mod itself. So to get all five of these files, I'll go ahead and give you the link to these four pages in the description. So first off, for Mo Creatures, if we go ahead and scroll down, you'll see a couple videos on mod on the mod showcasing it. But we want to go ahead and scroll down until we see Mo Creatures mod version 3.2.1, and this page does show you all the information on all of the mobs that it adds and pretty much everything that you're going to need to know about this mod. So go ahead and just click on the Mo Creatures mod link right here, and it'll take you over to an ad fly. And you say, please wait five seconds, and up in the top right hand corner, a yellow button will appear that says skip ad. Go ahead and click on skip ad, and it'll bring us over to a media fire, and then just go ahead and click on download to download the mod. Now for the custom mob spawner, if we go ahead and scroll down, you want to go ahead and click on custom mob spawner version 1.4 for Minecraft 1.1. And again, it takes you over to an ad fly and you wait five seconds and up in the top right hand corner, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. Go ahead and click on skip ad. And again, it takes you over to a media fire and just go ahead and click on download to download it. Now for mod loader and audio mod, we're going to go ahead and come over to Rezagami's mods and scroll down until you see mod loader 1.1 and you can either do download from ad fly or direct, whatever you prefer to do. I usually tend to do direct because then I can just download it straight from the page and not have to open up a new page. 
So after you download Mod Loader, go ahead and scroll down a little bit more until you see Audio Mod 1.1. And again, you can either do download from AdFly or direct, whatever you prefer to do. Now to download GUI API, we're going to go ahead and come over to the Advanced UI Toolkit page. And go ahead and scroll down, and you want to download the 0.13.1-1.1 version. And just go ahead and click on Download. And this will take us over to an adcraft.co link. And you just want to go ahead and scroll down and say, please wait three seconds. And between the ads, you just go ahead and click on download mod. And it will automatically download the mod. So once you've downloaded everything that you're going to be installing, go ahead and come over to start and type in percent app data percent. Just like this down here. And go ahead and open up your roaming. Now open up your dot minecraft. Go ahead and open the bin left click your minecraft jar then right click it and do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using I'm using WinRAR so I'm gonna go ahead and open it with WinRAR and that will open up your minecraft jar now your bin we will be coming back to this later on in the tutorial so do not close it go ahead and minimize it so once you have your minecraft jar open go ahead and open up audio mod highlight these three files and drag them into your minecraft jar and hit OK go ahead and close audio mod open up mod loader and highlight all these class files and drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close Mod Loader. Now open up GUI API and hold Control, then hit A, and that will highlight all the files and drag all of these into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close GUI API. Now open up Custom Mob Spawner and you do not want to put the README text into your Minecraft jar, so go ahead and click on the first uh, class file then hold shift and click on the last class file that's right before the readme text and that should highlight the three class files and drag those into your minecraft jar and hit ok now go ahead and close the custom mob spawner and you should see a folder called metainf in your minecraft jar if you do not see this it's ok you can go ahead and just skip this step but if you do see it what you want to do is delete it so go ahead and left click it then right click it select delete files then hit yes and that will delete metainf. You want to make sure you always delete metainf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it will make your Minecraft crash. So now we're done with the Minecraft jar. We can go ahead and close that. And you should have minimized your bin, so bring that back up and just go ahead and hit back. So we're back in the dot Minecraft folder. Now open up mode creatures and click on mods, hold shift, and then click on resources. And that will highlight those two folders. And you want to go ahead and drag those into your dot Minecraft, then hit yes. And there you go, you are done installing Mo Creatures. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.